Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to Bold and Defiant and welcome into another video. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Welcome into Bold and Defiant again. So if you're new in this channel, we talk all about business entrepreneurship, growing together in whatever we do with our hands. And I want to encourage you to subscribe because you'll be able to learn a lot from this channel yeah so if you're not new thank you for always coming back i hope that this channel has been helpful if you've been growing let me know if you've started your business let me know if you're yet to start it's time there's no perfect time it's not a must you have all of it um together you start from somewhere and you grow to something yeah so in today's video i want to talk and share some Part of my business journey and um this is something i always tell everybody that asks me about uh business and um i am happy that i'm still young i'm happy that i'm still young i still have a chance you know to to try things to keep trying to keep uh doing different things i this this is my time and this is your time as well so if you're watching this video please don't give up continue trying and it's okay to start all over again it's okay to leave this and start this and i want to read a quote um from nelson mandela i love this quote it says never never stop trying never stop believing never give up on never give up your day will come never stop trying never uh, stop believing never give up your day will come never stop trying that's my um my belief even as i share this video with you and i we have a mentor me and my husband that um uh who is i think over 50 and he keeps telling us uh, you people are so young you still have a chance to start to try things out this is your time if this time passes away without you doing this believe me when it gets to now his age it, it is so hard for for him to 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 try things out he's already old he has passed this age and so this is what he tells us like um it's time at this age we are in it's time to to try things until something works out for us you know if you start this it fails get to another one very quickly don't stay there mourning and and crying and getting into depression and all that we still young you still have the energy and the and and the and the, and the time you know to do it before you get busy with life with kids with all that so he, that's what he tells us and i truly believe in that and this is what i want to tell you today it's okay to start all over again it's okay to try and fail everything you do and fail it's a learning journey and that's what you've learned in that you'll apply it in something else that will be of of, of great benefit to you so this is what happened and i think if you've been watching my videos you've you've, you've heard me share about this a lot so after I, I i closed my travel business travel business was something that was very personal to me and i love it to date i love traveling i love adventure i love trying new places new hotels i think that's my hobby actually that's my hobby and i'm glad that i got married to a man who loves the same so we explore together so and i thought at some point after school i can do this as a business you know i can um, organize trips for people i can uh, i can book flights for you and so i said this this this, this, this is what i want to do and from a long time ago i knew i didn't want to be employed i just wanted to maneuver with what i love and just do business out of it and so i tried it i started it in 2017 2017 and now we are in 2022 immediately after school i started so what i did i opened my facebook account actually i didn't know about Insta instagram i don't know why but i just knew a lot about facebook so i started from facebook i opened a page i started posting i was actually going through that page um uh just another day and i was feeling so emotional because i look at where i started and i'm like god anyway everything starts from somewhere you know and i what i used to do i used to go on google i google photos of travel people's photos and that was very risky but i didn't know so i used to 
google people traveling i take their photos and post on my page and uh, i just write something there and then tomorrow i do the same because i didn't i had not traveled i actually remember I'm, I'm just from school i'm not employed i don't have any cash to even travel but i had a dream you know i had a vision so what i did i started growing that page i started um i started um posting photos they were not even my photos and so at some point i had a brother of mine who told me you can organize mini tours to day trips like on a saturday you get few friends we go somewhere just around nairobi we swim we we eat nice foods um and then you you take those photos and post on your page and that's what i started doing i started organizing the trips where we will i will take like 10 friends to just somewhere not very far from nairobi they would pay a small fee and then i would get a chance to get photos and that's how my page started growing and then i surrounded myself with mentors um I, I, someone who mentored me was esther the ceo of bountiful safaris um i had um another lady called maggie she also owns a uh, travel uh, she majors on booking tours uh, so i surrounded myself with such people so i used to go to them to their offices i see what they do they were so gracious to me and i learn one or two things and then i come try it out um, and then it works out pole pole too so i did that in 2017 2018 Mm, but it was so discouraging remember i have never traveled i don't know the places remember i'm booking you a trip to mombasa a mombasa i've never been i'm booking you a trip to mara amara i have never been but i never give up i i tried i said let me just try so, so there are times i would book someone to mombasa and it then the hotel you know the photos <laughs> from google look can look very different from the real deal so they go there and they are so disappointed they say i cheated on them i ate their money and my image will be destroyed you know and th th at that point you, you you get very hurt and you're like i wish i had the money to explore first before i start even doing this but i said let me not get limited to anything if i am able to to do that well and good if i'm not able to travel that way it's still okay so at some point i i i i i decided to to open a website so i paid someone a lot of money to design a website for me and they did a good website and remember for a website you pay every year like these are renewal fee you pay every year so in 2018 i think i didn't make any sale trust me people like i used to i used to to travel even myself that time i was dating my husband so we used to travel ourselves uh, then we take photos wherever we are we post them um those were the only photos that were operating in my page i take maybe few friends uh evo too then i take photos but i didn't have a major client so i tried advertising i remember i got a job somewhere in my brother's office so the little money he was paying me i used to use that money and and, and 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 grow my 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 business page like i would sponsor it with that money and then try to get more followers and i got followers so um but to make a sale a single sale it was very hard why well, it was i remember at some point i learned how to 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 do flight bookings i even got a a, a, a platform for for booking websites sorry for booking flights and i could book even imagine local and international flights i can still do that even now like i was so good at it and i would book friends people i'll book people for honeymoon at, at least i can't say i can't complain a lot but i the, the much effort i was giving to it is not what it was giving me back but i kept pushing i kept pushing i kept 2019 the same I tried I tried oh god but uh, all this time I was struggling I was struggling I was I was not okay but at the rate of which my page was growing I was encouraged that one day I would make a sale so I still kept at it remember it's not giving me sales like it wouldn't even pay any bill of mine like maybe in a month I would stay without even a single sale but I'm still advertising I'm still using money to promote and then you get promising clients clients will just inbox you ask you questions um but they wouldn't like bring any sale so it was a business that was not paying my and remember this i think the second or the third day of doing it but no sale nothing 
so i i was i was always discouraged and then it's i was not able to share with people people thought i was by then making a lot of money from how sorry from how they could see my page then they would think eh, this girl is making a lot even family members and all that but i wasn't i wasn't okay i wasn't uh, happy you know i was I, yes i loved it but i wasn't i wasn't i wasn't happy so 2019 came i tried it out oh god i was there are times i would feel I would, there are times i would even ask god what was it i remember that from the place i was living to the place i was going to work the i've told you i was working for my brother it was like a distance and sometimes in the mornings i used to walk in evenings and i would walk like even crying like asking god um why is this not happening why like i was i was just in a place where i wasn't happy about and in a place where i was feeling like i'm giving too much but very little is coming back to me and i was asking myself do i continue with this or do i just quit but i was asking myself if i quit what else will i do like i didn't have anything else i was passionate about so it took me time 2019 i tried now came 2020 and 2020 was the changing point of my life after covid came <laughs> And you remember what happened uh, all the travels were closed so i the, the business completely shut kabisa so that's that, that's the point now i got to just sit and know what what am i am i really continuing with this thing or do i look for for an alternative what next like i really need to think because if i don't um it's a done deal you know like i was at a point i was i was i was so confused i was so confused and it's at this point like you just ask god for direction you know you like by yourself you 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 can't like you'll just be there and you don't know exactly what's next so i i i i i, I asked god for direction and in one way or another god led me to something and that's how i started my if you've watched my previous video you know what happened i that's when the idea of Jay Smart Interiors came in and I realized mm, this is something that I truly love because I used to do it when I was I was doing it when I was very young when I was like a small girl in my village I used to I loved to date I loved to just keep the house clean organizing the house I, I remember I used to, to 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 get flowers from the shamba and then put them in a cup and like put it in the table um I was very good at it to date like even when i go home they know that's my job and i really i didn't know that was something i was passionate about but and i didn't know like that thing will turn into a business and that was the whole turning point of my life to date and i thank god that happened because i don't know where i would be to date i don't know whether i'll still be struggling with travel so i got to a point and i was confused like do i still continue with travel as much as i've started jsmart do I still continue with travel? But I say to myself, I just let go. And I don't want to go back to the struggles I had. Maybe it was not my business or... I don't know. I can't explain very well about what uh, I will do with it. So I had a page that has grown had grown to 13,000 likes. Um, and I was looking at it and I was like, God. I was looking at my website, though I closed it this year since I didn't want to... To start to pay the renewal fee and i'm not uh, using it my website was well done it had ah wow but i thank god and it was time to just let go and move on you know and i remembered i remember my our mentor telling me like it's, it's it's okay to let go it's okay to move on you can't on hold on to something that is not giving you back it's okay to move on it's okay to start all over again and that's what i want to tell us today it's okay if you are in something that is not giving you back the effort you're giving it for long and it's been long not like you've tried for one month i'm saying it's been long it's something that is always discouraging you just try other things get to know what what you can do what else you can do try it and then out of all the things that you'll try you'll see something that will start working out for you then concentrate on it you know uh don't give up like <clears throat> don't give up on your life just because some one thing failed and now you want to give up on everything no that's not the point just ask god to lead you to something else that will um 
be of benefit to you so it's okay to let go it's okay to start all over again it's okay actually it's more rewarding i feel like i'm i'm very happy now not i feel like i am i am very happy now i am now concentrating on my business fully and it's growing very fast i'm like if i concentrated on this business those years that i wasted on travel i think i would be very far but i don't regret i say this is the time for this and i'm not even a year old in this business but i am um, it's doing so well and i'm i'm happy that i started it again i started all over again and i was not starting another business because i had money to do that i didn't have even a coin but because i i just decided to let go to just ah, this thing i'm done with it and just trust god for another journey um and from actually what i learned in that that time it's helping me now like i learned during that time i learned how to manage social media and that's what has grown my business this time and i i, I can't regret that i went through that but i'm happy that i started again so it's okay keep trying keep trying people keep trying keep trying keep trying i wanted to read that quote again um it's it's okay it's okay to let go start again never stop trying never stop believing never give up your day will come please walk with that quote today and every day of your life if you're in something that is not giving you back don't stay there for long just um and i'm not saying you keep quitting i'm what i'm saying is give your best give it time if it's still not working let go don't waste time that time is very precious get into something else try something else ah it will work out there's something your day will come there's something that will still work out in your circle of your trials okay so hope this video has been helpful thank you so much for watching please share it with someone please share it with your friends uh, subscribe if you haven't oh please subscribe okay yeah so thank you very much have a good day and god bless you bye